In this particular lecture, we are going to talk about three element boiler drum level control. It is one of the most important control scheme used in the process industry. And good knowledge of this control scheme is required for control engineers. In this particular video, we will be discussing about single element, two element and three element boiler drum level control and how the switching between these different control schemes are done. So this is a simplistic diagram of the three element boiler drum level control. So as you can see, this is the boiler drum. And there is a level transmitter which measures the level of the boiler. Maintaining level of the boiler is our primary concern. So output of this level transmitter goes to a level controller. And this level controller in turn sends signal to the feed water valve. So this is the most simplistic form of the control scheme. And this is single element control where drum level is the only element that is being measured and the feed water flow rate is controlled to maintain the drum level but the problem happens when there is sudden variation in the feed water flow maybe due to the disturbance in some mechanical equipment or some issue in the feed water flow line to account for these issues feed water flow meter reading can also be taken into consideration and another controller is being added and that is known as the flow controller. So flow controller PV is the feed water flow rate and output of this level controller became the set point of the flow controller. So this becomes the master and this flow controller becomes slave. So this is a master slave cascade control scheme. In this way, the variation in the feed water flow line can be accounted for. And this is known as the two element boiler drum level control. Now, there is another parameter that is main steam flow. And normally this main steam is connected to the grid and there are sudden fluctuations that may happen in the load of the main steam and this affects the boiler drum level so the main steam flow can be added into the output of the level controller and this combined output can go as a set point to the flow controller. Here, the steam flow acts as a feed forward control loop. So now we have all the three elements drum level, feed water flow, and steam flow. When all the three elements are taken into this whole control scheme, acts more robust and less susceptible to the variation in feed water or main steam flow or any disturbance in the process that may happen. But whether this three element drum level control can be used throughout the process of the boiler? No, because when the boiler starts up, the flow of the main steam and the feed water flow both are insignificant and they often does not provide the flow meters of the feed water flow and the mainstream flow often do not provide a accurate reading at the condition of the startup. So at the condition of the startup, instead of three element, single element control is used. In that case, there is a switching option that operator can select or that can be done automatically through the logic. In that case, LIC directly sends the signal to the feed water control valve and in this way 
the level of the boiler is maintained. 